What's up guys, this is Share talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll talk about the new banner announced, Romancing Festival Elemental Lords. There's nothing else announced so far, only the banner, but we'll have events as well, as soon as we get it download uh, after today's reset. Well, we already have all the information about this banner on Reddit. Once more by Hands43, thank you so much for always doing this amazing job. They buffed these units by a lot. But the reason why is that they are just so bad that they need a rework. But even with all the reworks they made, they are just not future-proof. Starting with Strom, we have 120% um, agility, 115% STR, and he is a damage dealer for MRTs using both cold and blunt attacks. 87% endurance, and we are just okay. And it gets 30% damage increase for cold, and it triggers 3 times per battle. Also when attack lands, recovers HP by a very small, should be around 220, very low love and charisma, and 1 VP. When S1 lands, has a 37% chance to chase with Splash Beat. Splash Beat does not appear here, it's a double S power attack with blunt and cold. Pretty similar to the third skill, and also grants damage block one time, no turn limit. Well. 37% chance only. When using skill number 2, then it becomes a 50% chance to chase with Splash Beat. But this skill is an AoE, and it's not made for bossing, so following up with single target after AoE doesn't really help much. But then when you use skill number 3, you have a guarantee to activate Splash Beat. So, that's already pretty interesting. Then uh, attack damage increases by 20%, and then increases by another 30. We have 10% uh, defense up every turn for a total of minus 50% damage on turn 5 and beyond. And you also have 25% chance to evade. On max potential, we will have around 140% damage passives and, well, at least around 40% damage reduction on turn 5 and beyond. But now, when you use skill number 3, it's a triple S power attack with blunt and cold that will grant you one damage block, and you will follow up with a double S power attack that will also grant you a damage block. So, as a martial arts attacker, you usually attack before the enemy, and you can have two damage blocks by turn one. That's actually interesting, and you can even place the character in the front lines of some formations. And this damage here is also very impressive, you could say it's similar to what Queen and Silver does. And then when you use skill number one, you grant yourself this guard ups mod that increases damage taken by 12%, does not stack with other guard ups, but you still have 37% chance to chase. Okay, but then you go back to use skill number three later and you have a perfect cycle of skill three and skill one. Damage works, blunt and cold is a very good combination, but it's also something that Leon and Silver does. Wayne does blunt and lightning, but... It's already covered and it will be very similar to what you get with Silver and, for example, Gwen. Maybe a little better depending on RNG, especially if you get a chase from skill 1, but it's not moving towards something much stronger. New units are getting even party support. Strong is just about pure damage and that's it. Even the newest Leon has defensive uh, capabilities like Revive, he can also buff Will and Dexterity, and the third version of Lean always have two chases and he can inherit Anti-Material Shot for very good damage. But since Gwen and Silver are now on Triple S grade in the tier list, I will be giving him Triple S as well, but eventually he will fall down to SS Plus and is somewhat easy to skip, although kind of strong by own design. Moving on, we have Atelis and there's 109% SDR, but 124% agility. Status are not that great, but at least we have 92% will versus 79% endurance. Starts the fight with 13 BP and grants itself this elemental enhanced blunt that is very large, should be 20% damage increase, I guess. Three times per battle for a total of 60% increase. Also, elemental guard blunt medium to allies. This will decrease uh, blunt damage by 25%. Every turn, since it triggers every turn. And when you receive a direct attack, it will reduce damage taken and counter with skill number one. That is a free skill with E power that is pierce damage and recovers 5 BP by medium chance. Medium chance, that's 25% chance. <laughs> Not reliable. And then when receiving attack, reduce damage taken by 25%, and then by another 25%. So at least two layers of defense. By the end of a turn, gets 2 BP and also grants itself a heat up 
increasing damage potential part the whole fight by 10 percent for 50 percent max total alongside the other at 60 percent we have a total of 110 percent on max potential well uh, skill number one is that one that we discussed it pierce damage and 25 percent chance to get 5 vp not reliable skill number two is an aoe blunt and pierce attack with just C power, yeah, pretty weak, but it buffs STR and agility by 25% on max level and grants ward up medium for two turns, decreasing damage taken by 25%. Well, the counter mechanic of this character is pretty weak, barely does anything, and even if you think about using this cycle of uh, granting two status buffs and ward up, it's just that that's what you're getting, nothing else. Uh, if you already have, for example, Nahal's daughter, she buffs all status and she has guard up as well. This damage is just so bad that you should not even care about. You would prefer to use the second cycle about using skill number 3 and skill number 1. Well, this costs 13 BP and it's single target, blunt and pierce damage, C power per each hit, attacks between 3 to 5 times. On C power 3 times you get at least 4 S damage on usual and it grants his attack boost increasing damage potential by 15% just for that turn for allies since it's a martial arts unit it will usually attack before the other people in the party uh but then it's like let's say that you get just three hits you are doing a 4s attack and then the next turn you are doing an e power attack well this is designed from start of 2023 many other damage dealers now can do at least 4s power of damage every turn because of their changes and even sometimes extra changes so this is really really lacking there's nothing else about the character and just about that guard up is really bad we already got the newest human female she's much superior this character here just kind of works but nothing really good so it will receive an ss plus grade because of the older characters that got released and in the past moving forward it will just get demoted easily moving on we have pyrex and this one has the highest agility we have right now 130 percent 117% STR as well for a good combination. Very, very low endurance in you. 70% will, will be terrible for some content. You will just get inflicted with ailments. And Pyrex is actually made for boss fights as well. Since he's designed for farming, it's kind of bad. Now on free quest mode, his skills are not good enough. Starts the fight with 13 BP. And now for passive, starts the fight with 13 BP and grants this passive called a Gifts from Attacker. When you use heat attacks with anyone in the party, you will apply yourself a defense boost to that increases damage taken by 15% and lasts for two turns. That's self. So you need to attack with your character. And this will work for everyone since it's granted as a passive. People with Muchi heat attacks will benefit from this. You could say like using Pyrex with Esper, Girl and she changes she will get another defense boost but does she really need this oh, i'm not so sure then on the third begins gets this elemental boost heat that will increase heat damage i guess by 20 percent not so sure three times per battle and an elemental guard on every turn that decreases heat damage by 25 percent for all allies okay then when using heat attacks damage increases by another 20 percent and recovers on bp by two it's always just 5 EP per turn because we don't have any follow-up. Also, when resisting attacks, we reduce damage taken by 25%. And another 30% in damage increase all times and 20% damage increase when hitting weak attacks. So, we have 50% uh, here, another 20, and 60. So, 70 plus 60, 130% damage increase on full potential. Uh, we'll need to resist to reduce damage taken, have 5 people per turn. We rely on using heat attacks and attacking enemies that are weak to have all of the effects. And we will apply that passive gifts from an attacker to allow your party to get defense boost when using heat attacks and reduce re heat attacks from enemies as well. Skill number one is a recovery self support that can recover a lot of HP, cleans and also 3 BP. This is key meditation plus that can also be used now by Valdor. That's actually pretty good on him. Does not use LP anymore, so uh, I don't know why would you use this much, but seems like he would take lots of damage and he would need to heal sometimes. And getting that extra BP will be nice. Because the attacks from the character are pretty bad. 6 BP, 8 power attack for a roll. Use it to work in the past. Now it doesn't. On free quest, this is not enough to kill enemies. And the third skill is a 9 BP double S power attack. That is also roll and blunt and heat. 
it does have enough damage to maybe uh, solo book number three if you get the uh, character max potential because before attacking it grants the enemy defense down medium decreasing defenses by 25 percent and then attacks so you can use this two times in a row and it may be good enough but i don't know if it's just that good since for blunt we can already run school red for example and for heat we can already run latest creator for aoe so works i don't like the character too much because of the very bad endurance in will and bad choice of skills so i will uh give this only an assets grade since it's a pretty forgettable character reducing damage from one specific element and requires your party to use attacks from that specific element as well is not really smart the latest one is AV, and we have very bad status distribution because they wanted AV to be in hybrid. Yes, we have 113 agility and 113 intelligence as well. And then we have 98 STR, 98 endurance, and 98 will. Well, wanted a little bit of everything, had nothing. Damage increases by 20%. Now, when receiving a direct attack, has 50% chance to evade and counter with this skill called Lever. It's an A-power AoE blunt attack that recovers on HP by 1.5 thousand and also recovers 3 BP. That's an interesting skill, but the problem with AV is the status, lack of damage passives, and change of element all the time. When attacking, you also have a 50% chance to trigger this skill called Changing Ward. It's an 8 power AoE slash and lightning attack. So you see, the counter is blunt. The attack from Chase is slash and lightning. And there's a chance to stun the enemy. On turn begins, it will recover HP by around 220. Buff endurance and will by 20% stacks and also grants itself a defense up that decreases damage taken by 15% 5 times per battle, will stack as well. So it will reduce damage taken by quite a lot, it will recover a lot of HP, it will eventually have much better endurance in wheel to actually tank for wheel, and we have a marked finis that increases damage potential by 30% and reduces damage taken by 30 so yeah, you can get lots of defenses with this character. The problem is that the design is really uh, defensive and not much damage. Skill number one is a single target slash free attack that can debuff the enemy STR when attack lands, and it does have good enough intelligence that it will land 15% debuff though. Skill number two is a triple S power attack that is a slash again, and okay, so you can attack with slash and then you can follow up with slash. Makes sense, but single target attack AoE chase the third one is a 10 vp s power attack that is aoe slash this one makes sense because you are using an aoe slash as an opener and an aoe slash and lightning as a chase the user would then enter a town stance that will trigger more enemy attacks and will also apply stealth to everyone else that's like uh, julian's passive julian's passive will be uh, triggered on turn one then on turn two his effects last for just two turns, but then it stacks and it's awesome. Well, in the case of AV, we'll only have 3vp normally, and then you can get more if you counter. So using this skill is not that easy if you cannot counter, but you are only using AV if you can counter, I guess. You could try to use it for farming, but there's a bad cycle here. An opener that can get a chase, but no other skill with AoE damage. Pretty, pretty limited in my opinion. It does work. You can place it on the center of, um, for example, Rising King formation and get some damage or some other formations as well. But even then, we just got Julian. We got Human Mayo as well. And they are much better because they also help the party do more damage or resist more damage and their skills are much better. So, AV works. I cannot say it doesn't, but it's just more like any other... Um, average count we received just an ss plus grade in the tier list sadly none of these characters are good enough they just offer standard utility and they look like they were designed on the half of 2023 or before that and even if you like the characters i would not recommend pulling here i believe this is just a bronze award one of the most easiest to skip well that's my opinion what is yours please say here in the comment section thank you so much for watching this is the real first video of 2024 so i wish you all a happy new year and if you want to support the channel we have links on the description like patreon paypal and coffee buttons 
Hope to see you soon in the next video or next live stream. Bye.